video game folks. This is Assassin's Creed Revelation, the second maybe expansion or sub plot line or I don't know how can I say so. A little continuation of Assassin's Creed 2 and Assassin's Creed Brotherhood which play in Valencia, uh, in Italy, in Rome, everything else, Venice in Milano and, and this game is played in Constantinople or Istanbul and uh, this is a new culture, a new world for Edzo um, and uh, we can use new devices too like this hook, hooker or what? A hook like a uh, weapon too and device for climbing and move faster on the buildings and on the walls. Ah, but the enemies, the guards can use weapons. As well, another new device and weapon for this age. This is the map. Again, it's like in the older Assassin's Creed game. And uh, also the signs are the same. We can go for many kind of shops. We can go for doctors to regain our health or cure ourselves. We can go for the uh, our basement or the assassin's um, uh, main uh, building in this uh, quarter of the city we can go to banks where our income grows uh, we can go to tinkers uh, where we can uh, buy uh, who, what else we can buy there um, buy uh, many things for the weapons, for the armors, for just uh, uh, joy. And uh, we can go now to bookshops. This is a new kind of shop. The, if we compare the previous Assassin's Creed games, we can buy uh, <laughs> books. <laughs> Who think that, eh? Anyway. And uh, of course, there will be again. Um, Painters, there we can buy maps which we can see all of the loot, all of the chests of the quarters. And also, there is uh, big buildings, monuments, like in was Brotherhood or in uh, the Assassin's Creed 2, where we can buy big, uh, memorable, almost miracle buildings. Uh, with a very much higher higher price, but with it we gain much much more money from only that one building only two uh, And of course there is the quest markers Everything else In this game there is uh, there are many quarters too like in was Assassin's Creed Battle with uh, Rome uh, But uh, this city is much mm, smaller I think than Ro it was in Rome and of course uh, much uh, uh, less higher places that we can climb up and jump from it jump down from it <coughs> This game is a very uh, good, uh, simple, good uh, example for that the developers can't make really innovative new uh, part of a franchise or a series in just six months. We can loot again, as in previous games, we can use potions, bullets, uh, smoke bombs, ordinary bombs, everything else. 
we can hide again and we can climb up great places and we will so we can pick up many anonymous that has like in the previous games we can pick up pick up uh, picked up uh, eagle so many things a hundred one in this game again a hundred one anonymous that has These are the new mechanical device that we can use not just for easier climbing, climbing, or, uh, we can use it for a faster movement, the traveling system for this uh, strings and types. This is a border. Sadly, this sign again appeared. I hate this sign. This border sign it's a more future rustic sign wow. The game uh, has some more simplistic elements, for example, wah, for example, uh, that we can uh, fight more easily and uh, not as much uh, um, hard that in the first or the second game. The Barrowhood uh, was also more simplistic, has got an also simplistic uh, fight system, but this game is much more simplistic than Brotherhood was. And also the story is not as cool, not as, as exciting and powerful than it was in the second part in Brotherhood. And still many bugs happen, the cure in this game after three and four patches it's really strange from a big company and the publisher and developer but from Ubisoft <laughs> it's not so surprising there are many parts of the cities like the shore near the sea the shipments ports and there is also a slum district and also a ritual run This game is not needed, I think, for the franchise. The city is needed for another big uh, part of the franchise, maybe Assassin's Creed 3, for more another two, three cities. But in this game, only this city comes, and the story is not involving as well as the previous one games. And many bugs happen. Wow. This. <laughs>
the game's music are still really good, it has a good and authentic feeling and also the voices, the character voices and the sounds of the weapons the surroundings are still good, the graphics as well but some uh, averages I think needed for the characters not for the main characters like Aizu but the others Aizu is a um, he's a uh, 50s the age of 50s and uh, in the later part we can meet in the Altair, with Altair again because of the story needs and then the two characters have to meet in some way we must gather the, the remnant memories from Aizu's part and from Altair's part because we have in a method in a mind illness between the real world and between the when where this Desmond uh, lies and Desmond lives and between the anonymous dream kind of dream world the memory world like almost in was in the matrix 2 and the matrix 3's beginning when Neo trapped between the real and the matrix world it's almost like that And uh, there we must uh, finish the Aizu and the outer cell, but not finish the Desmond, the Desmond part inside. It will be finished in the third real part of the Assassin's Creed franchise, which is played in the revolutionary USA. Um, what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> And um, what can I talk about this game? The overall rate rating uh, I give is uh, 82 percent uh, at 82 percentage because um, it's much more dull and much more boring sometimes than the previous one titles from the Essence Creed franchise and uh, there is more simplified uh, fights, attack moves, there is uh, much more moves and uh, possibilities in the uh, movements and fight style but the fight system is much more easier than the previous ones and also the story as well except the ending the ending is much more better than the than the whole, almost the whole of this game. And also, the uh, side characters, side and pieces are not as much exciting and surprising than the previous games. I now heal myself and doctor. Um, there is supplies too, as well as in the previous games. There are some fractions, groups, and soldiers. Many kind of fractions, like thief kind of like factions, warriors, deceivers, and everything else. And um, the mood is really you know, in this new kind of cultural world in Constantinople in Istanbul is there the mood has there and the graphics are still are really good the sounds the music then the free plays the free almost a sandbox game it is really are still there these features are still there but many uh, many were developed for a much more simplistic way, the story is just only there. I think is the game, the uh, the, the main uh, uh, problem with this game, the whole game is really much a uh, game that I think is not needed. So it's really annoying. The developers do it almost just in six months, half a year. So it's really. It's, we, we can really see that and the game show 
is that that it's much more simplistic, much more developed in a faster way because only the the money, the profit, maybe. So it's it's a really bad thing. But I think everyone must um, get this game and walk through it you know, until the end because if you like the the if you like the previous titles of this franchise you must be like this game too but mm, uh, little less joy in entertainment than the previous one because it uh, has some copies from the uh, other games it's, it's a little bit like uh, brotherhood 2.5 or 2.0 <laughs> Many things borrowed from them, and only two free devices <coughs> here are new, like the Hooker and this mm, other thing. And th there is the new uh, game mode, uh, Defend the War, almost like, not, not different from the War, if I can say so. And it's really annoying, it's uh, not fit in this game, really not fit in this game. It's almost like of, of um, Orcs Must Die 1 and 2. And it's really not fitting this game, this kind of uh, game style in the video gameplay. Uh, uh, gameplay, sorry. Because uh, it's uh, very alienated from this franchise. The, it's, it's, it, it is from almost, I said, Orcs must die, one and two. And the camera and the movement and, and the possibilities are really back there so it's really not fit in this game I don't know why they want to try to put it this type of game mode it's really not work here well and for the fans too and the critics too they said it as well when it released in 2011 so this is what I wanted to talk about this game. I hope you like it. But I think you must um, want it a more better Assassin's Creed after the second part of the Brotherhood. I hope that the third one is better, but uh, the critic reviews s said about that game in the end of the last year that is not as good as well as the second part in Brotherhood I hope that is not true <laughs> but I will see I will put a video about the third part as well surely in the near future in, in the summer maybe I don't know when because I have not as much as time for the every game but I hope that I will can put a video and review and the gameplay uh, from the third part as well. The revolutionary you will say in the sixteenth and seventeenth century. Seventeenth and eighteenth century. So I hope this you you will uh, you enjoy this video. We will see uh, that the third part as good as the previous ones. So, have a good enjoy for writer videos. Bye.